Hey everyone, I'm Greg here from Greg's Restorations going over one of our latest projects is this 1983 Volkswagen Vanagon camper and we did a Subaru engine swap to this. Uh, the engine swap came out of a 2010 Subaru Legacy 2.5 liter naturally aspirated non-turbo. One of the first steps of this project was to find a donor vehicle. We started looking on Craigslist and then later went on Facebook Marketplace and found a Subaru Legacy up in New Hampshire. The Subaru Legacy was the perfect fit for our build because it was already had a salvage title. It wasn't perfect. It had some damage on it. And it wasn't like we took a good car off the road. And it was like half the price of a regular non-salvage title Legacy. So we went up to New Hampshire. It was a couple hour drive. Drove up there with a trailer and picked it up, uh, brought it back to the shop. The reason why we bought this car running and driving was we could actually see how the car performed before we pulled the engine out. Um, we could have bought an engine online, you know, already taken out of the car, but we needed so many little parts to make this swap happen. So we wanted to have a full car. And now I'm going to uh, hand this over to Charlie. He was one of our head techs that was working on this project. So someone at some point had put in a cabriolet engine and that came in seized. The decision was made to do the conversion to the new 2.5 Subaru. Because the original motor had been removed, once we got out the motor that was put in afterwards, there was a lot of repairs that had to be made. We had to repair the engine bay, a lot of the wiring had to be repaired, the whole fuel system had to be repaired because it had already been adopted. That was one of the biggest things beginning because we couldn't just take the motor out and, and put the conversion in. There are kits available and that's kind of what we used, uh, but that was one of the problems that we had to begin with. So all of that had to be get out. We had to weld panels back in, repair a lot of the damage, repair a lot of the wiring, and figure out what was put in with the cabriolet conversion. We had located another uh, vehicle, so we brought that in, we got that motor out, and had that sent off to the machine shop. So kind of hand in hand, it all worked together. Uh, we got the motor back and started the installation. One of the complications is that the original van setup was a cable operated throttle. And the Subaru is a drive by wire, an electronic throttle. So one of the cool things we did is that we adapted the original Subaru throttle, made a bracket, made a plate, and mounted that up front and installed our wiring harness. So it maintains the original drive-by wire, which is, it's a lot better. It's an easier system, it, it works a lot better. One of the issues we hit onto because of the different styles, because of the different years, was uh, the alternator, in fact, didn't fit. Pulley was just off a little bit. But so that's the type of thing where we end up machining our own bracket to make that fit. And it, it's just kind of the custom stuff that we do that is the reason it's just not a regular shop doing this kind of stuff. We replaced the radiator. Kind of one of the other things we did was it, originally it had a uh, two-speed fan and we put in a single-speed high CFM fan just because of the, we've got the Subaru engine in the back, a fuel pressure regulator, all those things so that, you know, afterwards it can be adjusted and, and, and we also put a valve in there so you can screw a gauge into it. The customer has us perform the initial build, but they could be anywhere in the country. So in this case, it's local. So that's kind of cool because the guys live really right up the street, you know, and it's not often we get to do one that not only is, is somebody that, that's close to us, but that we're probably going to see it again, you know. Uh, a lot of times they're, they're, they're all, over the, all over the state, all over the country. But when we do a build, we want to make sure that if somebody has to bring it somewhere else, you know, in the future, down, years down the road, at least the next mechanic that looks at it will be like, oh, this is, this is here, this is there, you know. So we kind of do it in a way that it makes sense and that it's, it's actually repairable in the future. You know, we see these things lasting a long time. Right now, we've doubled the horsepower on this thing and it, it sounds so smooth. It's pretty neat because it's something that we've never done before. We mostly specialize in four-wheel drive trucks and land cruisers. Guys local from our same town, so we wanted to help them out with the project. Uh, we have not done anything with the exterior on the body and the interior yet. Uh, there's still some 
stuff we're going to be doing down in the future, but we wanted to do a progress update on this build to, to date. You can also check us out on the web at gregsrestorations.com and also our new website, gregstoyotarestorations.com.